The most infamous beast in the Bible is the serpent. The most sinister inhabitant of the Garden of Eden. It was the serpent that tempted Eve. In the book of Genesis, the serpent has some disturbing characteristics. The traditional belief is that it was a creature with legs. The serpent found Eve in the garden and told her to taste the fruit from the tree of knowledge, the only fruit that God had forbidden both Adam and Eve to eat. If she ate the fruit, the serpent told Eve she would be like God and know the difference between good and evil. Tempted, Eve bit into the fruit and then shared it with Adam. And so God banished Adam and Eve from the garden, and he cursed the serpent. On your belly you shall crawl, and dust you will eat all the days of your life. The ancients said that this is the curse that changed the serpent into a snake. Its legs torn from its body. It's not surprising that this sinful tale has marked serpents with nasty reputations. For the ancients, these creatures always had dark and magical qualities. There's something unnatural about their movements and character. And a snake with legs? Well, that's just creepy. There could never have been such a creature. Or could there? Surprisingly, ancient Christian manuscripts provide us with several candidates. For centuries, the word serpent was applied to a number of different beasts with similar characteristics. There are detailed catalogs of these creatures that just may lead us to Eve's legged serpent. This is an 800-year-old bestiary, a book of beasts. Bestiaries are part of uh, an extraordinarily long-lived tradition uh, going into the Middle Ages, but one which has its roots going way back into the classical world. The one I'm looking at dated to around the 12th century. You can actually see the pores of skin where the hide of the animal has been scraped, the hair has been scraped away, and on the other side you can see the veins on the flesh side. So it's a book about beasts, and it's made from the skin of beasts. In the ancient bestiaries, great attention was given to bizarre, exotic, and monstrous creatures. And the possible suspects for Eve's serpent, the legged snakes and salamanders, played the most powerful roles. Here in this bestiary, a remarkable picture uh, pertaining to the salamander, quite different from the creatures that we know today. We have a dead man lying on the ground we have to the right a series of snake-like salamanders emerging from flames. And on the other side, the tail of a salamander disappearing into a well to infect it. And above, a spreading tree with salamanders winding round the branches to eat the apples and infect them to kill the man below. The salamander is what it says. I'll translate part of it. Among all poisonous creatures, it has the greatest power for other poisonous creatures kill one by one. But this creature kills very many people at the same time. For if it snakes its way into a tree, it can infect all the apples with poison. And anyone who eats those apples, it kills. Because this text mentions the salamander poisoning apples by climbing into a tree, very early on, it gets associated then with the serpent in the Garden of Eden.